Hi guys, Steve here in Palm Springs, and we finally did it. We finally broke the record. Yesterday afternoon, we hit 124 degrees here in Palm Springs. Apparently, we made it up to 123 degrees in the past, a few times in the past, but I don't remember hearing about that. Every year, we do seem to reach 120, at least once or twice in the summer. So I assume this year we would hit 120 again. Never imagined we'd reach a record-breaking 124 degrees. And then I was reading another article this morning online saying that Death Valley, which is also here in California, they expected to reach 130 degrees, which would break the world record. I don't know if they expect it this year or sometime soon, but stay tuned for that. So recently, a couple of subscribers, Todd Tropicals and Robbie Detroit, left comments asking how cold it gets here in the desert. And it's kind of interesting because in the winter, it does get down to about 20 degrees. I don't know if it's ever gone below 20 degrees. Most of the plants here, most of the desert plants, they freeze at right about uh, 20 degrees. Sometimes they'll freeze, the tops will freeze, and they'll look like they, they've died. And then in the spring, little sprouts come back up so they, they survive. But I don't know if they can, if our desert plants can survive much lower than about 20 degrees. And most every winter, January, in January, we get down to about 20 degrees. So to go from 20 degrees to 120 degrees, that's a pretty big difference, isn't it? I don't know if you can see the bees swarming around me here this morning. We we have a bee problem and I'm looking into that. I'm trying to figure out what to do about the bees. Every morning, right about now, at sunrise, the bees, I don't know where they come from because we don't have a beehive or anything. And in fact, I called, last year I called a company that specializes in getting rid of, well, I thought they specialized in getting rid of bees because the name of the company was, I think it was Mr. Bees. <laughs> but apparently they only get rid of beehives. So if you have a beehive, they can get rid of it. But if you just have bees, they said there's really not much you can do about it. And I've looked into, I've looked in, I've, I've looked online, and they say there are certain flowers and things that you can put in your yard, certain plants that kind of repel bees. So I'm, I'm going to look into doing that. Although the flowers that repair the repel the bees aren't flowers that I necessarily like that much, like geraniums. But I may just have to go ahead and get some geraniums. Some of our other plants have died because of the heat recently, the excessive heat. So even though it was 124 yesterday, it's been over 110, I think, for the last week. Well, since we got back from San Francisco, and I know some of you are probably wondering what happened to all the San Francisco videos. Well, they are coming. It's just that, in fact, I've already edited and uploaded a couple of them, and they were ready to go live. But then the news broke yesterday afternoon and last night that we had reached this record-breaking temperature. So I thought I would just make a quick video this morning. I took my walk. Oh, when I got up this morning at 4 o'clock, I usually get up at 4, and then I take my walk around 5, right before the sun is coming up gives me a chance to eat my breakfast. I have either a bowl of cereal or just some toast, just something light, but I can't walk on an empty stomach. So, and I had to drink lots of electrolytes before the walk too. I looked at, I checked the temperature on my phone this morning, just out of curiosity, and it was 91 degrees at 4 a.m. this morning. So even though the sun wasn't up when I walked, it was still really warm. And I was very sweaty and very hot by the time I got back. So I jumped in the pool and I thought, well, let me make this video to share with you since a couple of you have asked about the heats, the heat. Well, lots of you comment about the heat here. And then with uh, Todd and uh, Robbie asking about the cold, I thought, well, this would be a perfect time to talk about the the weather and the temperatures here in Palm Springs. But we did so much in San Francisco last week, last weekend. And, you know, me, I, I filmed everything. So I think I have 10 to 15 videos to share with you from that trip. And they'll be coming soon. But yesterday, or what was it, the day before yesterday was the 4th of July. And then we ended up watching the parade that was very cute. And I thought I would share that with you and had the barbecue. So I shared that vlog. And then this one. But sometimes that's how it is. You have videos ready to go and then other more timely videos pop up and things happen. So it just made more sense to share this one today and the 4th of July video on the 4th of July. So, but that pushed the other, the two that I had already, the two San Francisco videos that I'd already completed, it pushed those back a little bit. Now, I did share one San Francisco video. So if you missed that, that was the very first one I posted, the, I think the day after we got back. 
And that was me and Mason surviving the four hour long Pride Parade in San Francisco. That was the reason I went to San Francisco. It was a bucket list trip to finally attend the Pride Parade in San Francisco, something I'd never done. And another bucket list trip that I've been wanting to make for quite a long time was the walk across the Golden Gate Bridge. We did that, that was so fun and so interesting, and not at all what I was expecting. And so that one's coming up. That was actually supposed to come up today. That That's actually the video that I posted for today. And I had to change the date. So that'll be coming up tomorrow instead, or the, the following day. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested in seeing our walk across the, the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm curious if any of you have done that. So you can let us know tomorrow on that video if you have. As for today, we're just chilling and trying to keep cool in the pool. And I have to clean the pool again. I don't know if you can see behind me how dirty the pool is. We had a lot of wind when I was gone. And then I think the holiday... Yeah, our pool guy comes on Thursdays. That's one of the days he comes. And that was 4th of July, so he didn't come. And so the pool's extra dirty. And I've been so busy editing videos, I just haven't had a, com a chance to come out and clean the pool. So I think I'm going to do that today. So hopefully it's not too looking too gross out here <laughs> behind me. I, I can't really tell because the sun is still just barely coming up. So it's still not very bright and I can't really tell from this very small screen on the camera I can't really I can I can see myself but it's so small that I can't see clearly what else is uh, is showing in the in the frame and in case you're wondering the pool is about 88 degrees right now and it feels fantastic it's really really nice it's still refreshing if it gets a little hotter it get, it's not as as refreshing once it gets up to about 90 or so, then it doesn't cool you down as much. Now, we also have an issue over here. You can see how dirty the pool is. Where Jim thinks the pool is leaking. He thinks we have a pool leak. So, he read online that you could put a bucket on the stairs and put a, you know, a blue line and just see how much in 24 hours, how much the, it evaporates and goes down. And then you also put a line on the inside. I don't know where you got this gross bucket. <laughs> and so that's gone down that much, and they should go down the exact same amount. So that's gone down about a half inch, and that's inside the bucket. This one looks like about the same right now. The water is kind of going up and down because I've been swimming. But actually it looks like the, the part that's in the pool has gone down even less. So that's a good sign. If it goes down more, then it means you have... Uh, a uh, pool leak, or you could have a pool leak, because they should evaporate the same amount, apparently. And at least that's the theory, that's what he said from researching online. So we'll see. We did get the the leak fixed over there on the, the faucet, and I'll, I'll share that, I'll share both of these in an upcoming video when we figure out if we need to, if we have a pool leak, and um, yeah, so I'll wait and share that with you in, in a future video. The birds are really enjoying the morning. And the noise you hear in the background is just the, the ACs, mostly the ACs. I don't think most of the pool pumps are on yet. So hopefully we won't break any more uh, heat temperatures this year. 124 is enough, and one time for the summer is enough, so fingers crossed. That's as high as it gets this summer. But I wanted to share that with you, and I have to say right now, laying here in the pool, there's no breeze, but it is just really beautiful and the temperature feels fantastic even though it's already over 90 it feels wonderful since the sun isn't out but within a couple hours it's going to be very very warm so i just wanted to make this short video and share that with you this morning so thanks for joining me once again today and i'll hope to see you all again on the next video